Hi, my name is Majid Gavami, and today I'd like to talk to you about how to reach out to your COI effectively and how to stay in touch with uh, your COI as well. Um, especially for brand new agents, I know you're probably excited to get the word out there that you are now a realtor, and congratulations on that, by the way. But, you know, what's a good, effective way of doing that? So, first of all, I hope you have put together a COI list. So you have a database of all the people that are important to you that you know that you can reach out to. Next, you know, I know you want to get the word out there and letting people know that you are now licensed and really ready to help them with all their buying and selling needs. Um, you know, pick up the phone. Um, you know, texting is great. You know, social media is great. But honestly, sometimes just a good old fashioned phone call and just pick up the phone and reach out to people and ask them to see how they're doing, first of all. Um, I wouldn't just start off the conversation be like, hey, guess what, I'm a realtor, okay, great. But if you reach out to people and you genuinely care about them and you start asking about them and see how, how maybe their career is going or how their family is going, and then let them ask you what's going on in your life, and that's a great moment to share the wonderful news about your new career, about being a realtor. So that would be my first bit of advice. And then, you know, as you're continuing to be in this business, how do you stay in touch with them? That's where I do feel social media can play such a crucial and important role. Um, and what I say that is, I don't mean just putting a lot of content out there saying, hey, look at me, I'm a realtor, I'm selling this or that. But watch what other people are doing. Look for those life-changing events that are happening with people. Did somebody uh, just have a baby? Did someone's oldest just maybe go off to college? You know, things like that. Did someone get married? Um, those are all big life-changing events. And sometimes those life-changing events can lead to maybe a different housing need. So families are growing. Maybe they need more space. Families are going down in size because kids are going off to college. Maybe they need to downsize. That'd be a great time to reach out to folks, check in on them, see how they're doing, and then see if maybe that conversation would lead to real estate. Um, you know, if you can be genuine with people and really reach out and see how they're doing, they're going to care more about your business and see how they can help you then too. And then another thing I would say is networking. Networking is so important. And the words networking, that's the key word, work and network. When you go to a social event, work the room. You know, don't just sit back and watch, but go introduce yourself to people uh, find out about other people and see what they're doing. And I guarantee you that's going to lead to them asking questions about you. And then lastly, I would say is try and create a power team. Um, you want to have people that are close to you that are essentially going to be your cheerleaders. So, um, you know, get creative with it. It doesn't have to be people basically in the real estate industry, but see how you can help other people grow their business and then they can in return help you grow your business. Maybe you team up with a landscaper, maybe you team up with a painter, electrician. Uh, maybe it's somebody that sells um, health supplements. You know, though those kind of people are in the contact with many different other people. And if you guys can figure out ways how to combine your businesses and do some kind of effective marketing, that could be a lot of fun. So those are just a few ideas. If you guys ever have any questions or feel free to, um, if you want to reach out to me directly, I'm always happy to talk and help uh, agents grow their business. But thank you for taking the time to listen and best of luck.